ओम तत्सदिति निर्देशो ब्रह्मणस्त्रिविध स्मृत ब्राह्मणस्तीन वेदाश्च यज्ञाश्च विहिता पुरा हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी थर्ड श्लोक ऑफ दी सेवेंटीन चैप्टर ऑफ भगवदगीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोवर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज ओम तत्सद इति निर्देशो विच मीन्स ओम तत्सद दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन ब्रह्मण स्त्रिविध स्मृत विच मीन्स इज सेट टू बी ब्रह्म इन थ्री वेज ब्राह्मणस्तेन वेदाश्च विच मीन्स बाय दैट दी ब्राह्मण एंड दी वेदास यज्ञाश्च विहिता पुरा विच मीन्स एंड दी यज्ञ आर प्री ऑर्डेन्ड सो श्री कृष्ण विल नाउ डिस्क्राइब द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द मंत्र ओम तत्सद he starts off by telling arjun that uh, om tatsad is said to be brahma in three ways and uh, it is through this that the brahmanas vedas and the yagyas are preordained so basically it's a very complicated uh, shlok if you just uh, read this but uh, you have to understand it from the point of view of the next three shloks Wherein Sri Krishna will describe Om Tat and Sad individually. What we have to understand over here is that by the knowledge of Brahm, one becomes a Brahman. By the study of Vedas, one gains the knowledge of Brahm, and after knowing Brahm, one's action become aligned with the divine yagya, which is going on in this universe. when a person acts in accordance with the divine yagya then that pleases the lord and in this way the person rises to the level of brahman so this entire process of one's rise to divinity is determined by living the life in accordance with the mantra om tat sat and we have to understand that so shri krishna will start to now describe uh, om tat sat individually om tat and sat and by understanding that one can then rise up to the level of divinity so we will understand them in detail in the next uh, few shlokas and uh, we should basically live our life in accordance with that as the message that will come out of the whole thing and with that then shri krishna will conclude this chapter so we will understand more about that in the next few shlokas over here we just have to understand that om tat sat is a very important mantra and we should all live our life in accordance with that so that was the message of this shlok i hope that i have explained this shlok well to you with that i'll close the video i'll see you in the next video take care